you might want to balance this and then compare your answer with mine. Uh, so I'm going to look at this equation and say this is a redox reaction in acidic environment. So let's go after like terms and decide if it's oxidation or reduction. MnO4 minus, which is potassium permanganate usually, this purple color becomes Mn2 plus, which is brownish color. Uh, now, first thing I go after, number of species are good, so I go after oxygen. I'm going to add four H2Os on the product side. And then I need to balance hydrogen, so I'm going to have 8H plus on the reactants. Now, let's just decide on the charges. On the reactant, I have 8 positive plus 1 minus, which is total of 7 positive charges. On the product side, only Mn contributes, and there are 2 pluses. So in order to 7 to be equal to 2, I'm going to add five electrons to the left hand side therefore this is reduction and mno4 minus in this case is oxidizing agent now let's go after chromiums so, um, sorry this is oxalate after carbons so i have c2 o4 2 minus that is becoming carbon dioxide gas first species I see two carbons so I'm going to put coefficient of two uh, now everything is good carbons are good oxygens are good except the charges two minuses so I'm going to put two electrons on the product side and this is your oxidation half the last thing to do is the charges on on both equations have to be equal two is not equal to five so what i'm going to do is multiply equation above by a factor of two all of them and equation below by a factor of five so let's just see this one i do it uh, one by one so two times five for the first reaction is 10 electrons plus 16 h pluses so i'm just multiplying them through plus 2MnO4 minus. It's very easy to make mistakes here. We just have to be careful. 2Mn2 plus plus 8H2Os. The second reaction that I'm going to multiply by 5. Let's multiply it through. So you have 5C2O42 minus. On the product side, you have 10 carbon dioxide plus 10 electrons. Electrons are exactly the same. They cancel out, so that indicates I'm doing something right. Let's just bring everything down, and that's your balanced equation. So you have 16 hydrogen plus protons, plus 2 permanganate ion, plus 5 oxalate ion. On the product side, you have 2Mn2+, plus 8H2Os, plus 10CO2. This is the balanced version if I haven't made any mistake. Let's look at the next problem. Then again, if you want, slow down this video and you solve it yourself. Let's compare notes afterwards. So I'm going after sulfur versus sulfur, sulfite versus sulfate. So SO32 minus versus SO42 minus. I have one sulfur on both sides. I'm happy. Oxygen is not the same. You have three versus four. So I'm going to add one molecule of H2O here. So oxygens are good. Then I'm going to add two hydrogens on the product side. So hydrogens are good. Let's look at the charges. Two minus on the reactant versus two minus and two plus gives you a total of zero. So you need to gain, uh, I'm sorry, add two electron on the product side. Then again, it's a loss of electron, so this is oxidation half. Now let's look at the other one. So we go after chromium versus chromium. Cr2, O7, 2 minus is giving you chromium 3 plus. Two chromium versus one, so I put coefficient of two. 7 oxygen, so I need to add 7 H2Os. 7 H2O creates 14 hydrogens extra, so I will add 14 H pluses. The last thing is number of electrons. 
Let's do our bookkeeping carefully. 14 positive and 2 minus is total of 12 positive charges. 2 times this is 6 plus. You are, now you need to bring 12 down to 6, so gain 6 electrons. And that's your half reduction. Last thing to do, number of electrons have to be equal. 6 is not equal to 2, so let's multiply equation above by a factor of 3. And then let's just add them up. So uh, for the above equation, I have three H2Os. I'm multiplying a factor of three by everything. Three sulfite giving me three sulfate plus six hydrogen plus plus six electrons. Equation below is as is. I write my six electrons, then I cancel them out plus 14 H pluses plus CR207 2 minus giving you 2 CR3 plus plus 7 H2O. Cancel your electrons, bring everything down and if we need to simplify in terms of hydrogen and H2O we do so. 3 H2Os plus 3 sulfide plus 14 H plus from the second reaction plus CR2 O7 2 minus giving us 3 sulfate plus 6 H plus plus 2 chromium 3 plus plus 7 H2 O. Now we can also simplify H's. You have 14 H versus 6. So this goes away and this becomes 8 H plus. H2O same deal, you have 7 versus 3, they go away, and this becomes 4 H2O. So to give you a clean version is 3 sulfide plus 8 hydrogen, uh, hydrochloric acid or nitric acid, dichromate ion plus the other side you have 3 sul sulfate plus 2 chromium plus 4 h2 then again if i didn't make any mistake this is your balanced equation in acidic environment